Meta has finally dropped their third and newest Llama 3 AI model, and it's got everyone buzzing while making AI giants like Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic sweat as it's dubbed the open source version of GPT-4. It actually grants access to a variety of new capabilities in terms of how well the model functions when it answers questions, and this is a truly landmark event for the AI community, so let's dive into the technical details of this release. The Llama, or Large Language Model, is a series of powerful language models introduced back in in February 2023. The initial release included four different sizes, 7 billion, 13 billion, 33 billion, and 65 billion parameters. It's said that the 13 billion parameter version of Llama performed even better than OpenAI's GPT-3, which had 135 billion parameters. Meta has now unveiled Llama 3, the newest version of its large language model. They claim it's their most advanced model yet, boasting significant improvements in performance and intelligence capabilities. Zuckerberg recently announced this release on threads claiming that this model is set to dominate Meta's AI landscape. It will be integrated into Messenger, Instagram, and even its dedicated website. Zuck also stated that they are notching up Meta AI with this new Llama 3 AI model and releasing it to the public. Not only that, he also spilled the beans on the Llama 3's entire lineup. He announced two similar versions with 8 billion and 70 billion parameters respectively, and mentioned how those models are already ahead of their competitors. The beefiest offering packs a whopping 400 billion parameters parameters, but that model is still under training. The point to note here is that this model is being trained on a data set seven times meatier than its predecessor Llama 2. In line with their design philosophy, Meta opted for a relatively standard decoder-only transformer architecture in Llama 3. Compared to Llama 2, they made several key improvements. Llama 3 uses a tokenizer with a vocabulary of 128,000 tokens that encodes language much more efficiently, which leads to substantially improved model performance, and then to improve improve the inference efficiency of Llama 3 models, they've adopted grouped query attention across both the 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. They then trained the models on sequences of 8,192 tokens, using a mask to ensure self-attention does not cross document boundaries. There's already a ton of information about Llama 3 out there, including a GitHub repository, so let's start their discussion with the benchmarks. The benchmarks reveal some unexpected results. Please pause the video here and look at these numbers. The Meta Llama 3 Instruct model demonstrates remarkable performance, marking it as the current pinnacle of AI achievement. Perhaps the most startling finding is that the Meta Llama 3 surpasses Claude Sonnet, a significant model in the Claude 3 lineup, despite its significantly smaller parameter size. This underlines the dynamic nature of the industry, where market leaders constantly shift, especially in benchmark performance across various model sizes and price points. The unexpected leap in performance, even against established models like Gemma and Mixtral 7B Instruct, underscores Meta's newfound dominance in the game. Not only that, Meta's focus on real-world usability is evident in their development of a new human evaluation set. In the MMLU benchmark, known for its evaluation of general knowledge, Llama 3, 8 billion, exhibited superior performance compared to Gemma 7 billion and Mistral 7 billion, while Llama 3, 70 billion, narrowly surpassed Gemini Pro 1.5. Interestingly, though, Meta's lengthy post conveniently sidesteps any mention of GPT-4, raising questions about its comparative performance. Meta claims that human evaluation Evaluators also ranked Llama 3 above other models, including OpenAI's GPT 3.5. They assert that they've devised a fresh data set for human evaluators to mimic real life situations where Llama 3 could be deployed. This data set covered scenarios like seeking advice, summarizing, and creative writing. Meta asserted that the team responsible for developing the model had no access to this new evaluation data and it had no impact on the model's performance. This particular evaluation set contained 1,800 prompts that cover 12 key use cases, including asking for advice, brainstorming, classification, closed question answering, coding, creative writing, extraction, inhabiting a character or persona, open question answering, reasoning, writing, and summarization. We can expect the new Llama models to be easier to control, less likely to ignore questions, and better at answering trivia, history, engineering, science, and coding questions. This is because they've been trained on a much bigger set of information, a whopping 15 trillion tokens, which is about 750 billion words. We all get a little bit scratchy when Meta talks about big data because in the past they've faced severe allegations about storing public data and selling it for commercial purposes. So where did this data come from? Meta didn't give out much detail, but they did mention it came from publicly available sources. They mentioned it had four times more code than what was used in training the Llama 2 model. About 5% of the data includes languages other than English, aiming to make the model better at handling non-English languages. To ensure Llama 3 is trained on
on data of the highest quality, they developed a series of data filtering pipelines. These pipelines include using heuristic filters, NSFW filters, semantic deduplication approaches, and text classifiers to predict data quality. They found that previous generations of Llama are surprisingly good at identifying high-quality data. Hence, they used Llama 2 to generate the training data for the text quality classifiers that are powering Llama 3. Meta also performed extensive experiments to evaluate the best ways of mixing data from different sources in their final pre-training dataset. These experiments enabled them to select a data mix that ensures that Llama 3 performs well across many use cases, including trivia questions, STEM, coding, and historical knowledge. Now, to effectively leverage their pre-training data in Llama 3 models, they put substantial effort into scaling up pre-training, specifically developing a series of detailed scaling laws for downstream benchmark evaluations. These scaling laws enable them to select an optimal data mix and how to make informed decisions on how to best use their training compute. Importantly, scaling laws allow them to predict the performance of their largest models on key tasks. For example, code generation as evaluated on human eval benchmarks before they actually train the models. Meta has made several new observations on scaling behavior during the development of Llama 3. For example, while the chinchilla optimal amount of training compute for an 8 billion parameter model corresponds to about 200 billion tokens, they found that the model performance continues to improve even after the model is trained on two orders of magnitude of more data. Both their 8 billion and 70 billion parameter models continue to improve log linearly after they train them on up to 15 trillion tokens. Larger models can match the performance of these smaller models with less training compute. But smaller models are generally preferred because they are much more efficient during inference. To train their largest Llama 3 models, they combined three types of parallelization, data, model, and pipeline. Their most efficient implementation achieved a compute utilization of over 400 teflops per GPU when trained on 16K GPUs simultaneously. They performed training runs on two custom-built 24K GPU clusters. To maximize GPU uptime, they developed an advanced new training stack that automates error detection, handling, and maintenance. The company also greatly improved their hardware reliability and detection mechanisms for silent data corruption, and they developed new scalable storage systems that reduce overheads of checkpointing and rollback. Those improvements resulted in an overall effective training time of more than 95%. Combined, these improvements increased the efficiency of Llama 3 training by about three times compared to Llama 2. To fully unlock the potential of their pre-trained models and chat use cases, they innovated on their approach to instruction tuning as well. Their approach to post-training is a combination of supervised fine-tuning rejection sampling, proximal policy optimization, and direct preference optimization. The quality of the prompts that are used in the fine-tuning and the preference rankings that are used in the two kinds of optimization has an outsized influence on the performance of aligned models. Some of their biggest improvements in model quality came from carefully curating this data and performing multiple multiple rounds of quality assurance on annotations provided by human annotators. Learning from preference rankings via optimizations also greatly improved the performance of Llama 3 on reasoning and coding tasks. Meta found that if you ask a model a reasoning question that it struggles to answer, the model will sometimes produce the right reasoning trace. The model knows how to produce the right answer, but it does not know how to select it. Training on preference rankings enables the model to learn how to select it. As far as the availability of these models is concerned, Meta says that the Llama 3 models are already up for grabs in the U.S. and are being used in their Meta AI Assist across platforms like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, and the web. However, there's mention of accessibility issues for users in the EU requiring the use of VPNs. Now, while the Llama 3 models seem widely accessible, it's important to note that they're referred to as open rather than open source. This means they're not completely free to use as people might think. Meta has some rules in place. Developers can't use Llama models to train other generative models, and app developers with over 700 million monthly users need a special license from Meta, which Meta can provide or deny at its discretion. The Llama 3 8 billion and 70 billion models mark the beginning of what they plan to release for Llama 3, and there's a lot more to come. The largest models are over 400 billion parameters, and while these models are still training, the team is excited about how they're trending. Over the coming months, Meta will release multiple models with new capabilities, including multimodality, the ability to converse in 
multiple languages, a much longer context window, and stronger overall capabilities. They will also publish a detailed research paper once they are done training Llama 3. To give you a sneak preview for where these models are today as they continue training, Meta shared some snapshots of how their largest LLM model is trending. Please note that this data is based on an early checkpoint of Llama 3 that is still in training, and these capabilities are not supported as part of the models released at this point in time. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. The video links popping up on your screen will show you AI models very comparable to Meta's Llama 3. Click on the topic that sounds most interesting to you, and we will catch you there in a second. See ya!